All right, hello, hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is my first Pokey MMO video here on the channel, so uh, hopefully, you know, if you guys enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, but today, as the title and thumbnail hopefully suggest to you, uh, I'm going to be explaining shiny hunting here in Pokey MMO. So I'm going to try to go through it uh, as simple as possible. So let's get started. First off, uh, I, I messed up an ocarina here. I'll maybe make a video on ocarinas later, but first off, let's talk about shiny hunting in general. So essentially, uh, I'm just going to do some background stuff in the gameplay as we're watching here, but essentially what you want to do for shiny hunting is go into any pond, any grass, and the best and easiest way is what I'm just doing right here. What sweet scent is essentially is uh, a special move here. I can show you from here, my meganium here. Hopefully you can see that on screen here. And so what I have here is Sweet Scent. I have it PP maxed, which means uh, PP is like the amount of like moves your, your Pokemon can do. So Flash here, I have 20. Rock Smash, I have 15. So Sweet Scent, I believe normally comes at around 20 PP. Yeah, it says 20 there. And so what I did is used an item called PP Max. I will pull up the GTL right here and call it PP Max. So uh, just taking a look at the pricing here, you can see it costs about 20k. So if you want to buy like one or two of these, you don't need two. I mean, you need one for each sweet center, but it's important to keep in mind that sweet scent does not stack. So you can't just have like five like meganiums here or whatever Pokemon you're going to use for sweet scent. Uh, it, it doesn't stack. You have one sweet center per party. And what's going to show up is five of the same Pokemon here, as you can see here. It's going to be a bunch of Surskits here. Uh, I believe this spot also has Meryl. I think it's like 50-50, so... It is what it is there. Um, I'm going to hopefully see if I can get like a Meryl encounter for you guys. But this is like the best and easiest way to uh, to shiny hunt. Now, while I'm doing this, the shiny hunting rate normally is one out of 30,000 encounters. You can see here on the top right of my screen, hopefully you see 5095. Um, let's make sure that's in place. There we go. And that is the number of encounters I've encountered since my last shiny which if you're curious i brought it along with me here this ditto i spent a lot of time on this ditto uh here you can see it's ivs 31 speed and so on it's it's a pretty cool ditto um, i'm really proud of it it took about 24,000 encounters and this is my ot as you can tell here um so that's that's that right it's my ditto um and what's cool about ditto is it's a very wanted shiny so if you are shiny hunting okay here's the merrells if you wanted to shiny hunt for profit you just type in ditto start by lowest advanced search for yes and there you go five million this is actually kind of cheap wow five million um I, I feel like most dittos range the last time i checked around like 5.6 million so the fact that they're down to five is is pretty impressive um I, I mean like maybe i should pick one up if i had the money i don't know but as i'm i'm just shiny hunting here so one out of 30,000 is your normal encounter rate. Uh, there is an item in the game called Donator Status and another one called Shiny Charm. I'm not gonna recommend using a Shiny Charm, but if you wanted to, you could use a Donator Status, if I could type. And uh, let's just bring that in the middle here. So here, as you can see, Donator Status, seven days. Uh, if we read it here, it says, an item which can be used to promote your account to Donator Status, which includes 25% XP in battles, 10% chance of encountering shinies, and 10% faster egg hatching. So uh, essentially there, what you're gonna do, not what you're gonna do, rather, but like what you can do, as I heal up here, uh, I'm gonna go to another uh, random place to, to shiny hunt. I'll just go in this water. Uh, just to see like what's out there right so what you can do is stack your donator status uh with you know your your regular odds and you'll actually have an increased up to one out of twenty-seven thousand. so that's on average right so in theory it's not exactly how it works but in theory when this number hits twenty-seven thousand, there is a 65 percent chance i want to say there's like a chart out there i don't remember the exact amount uh, without a donator status it should be one out of thirty thousand here in this number so that's basically the odds right it's it's fairly difficult it's not an easy game to get shinies that's why shinies are so expensive like like i showed you that ditto there was five million and i consider that low but like considered like i'll just search by lowest price for any shiny you can see here eight hundred ten thousand for this lunatone right eight hundred thousand that's a lot um that's that's a good amount of money right not a lot of people especially if you're starting out here not a lot of people have eight hundred thousand dollars just to spend here pokey yen it's not 
impossible to earn of course like you you could do gym runs you can uh, uh sell dittos you can you can sell pikachus like there's a lot of stuff you can do uh to earn that you can obviously hunt for shiny ditto and sell that that's going to make you a pretty penny as you can tell there five million uh so that's what you could do but that's that's kind of like the odds right and so i talked about hordes that's one of the one way to do it and as you can see so far i've encountered a lot of five times hordes what i'm going to try to do now if uh, if you'll stick with me here is I want to show you another kind of horde so there might be one uh, I'm gonna go to one that I know for sure which is going to be in the Unova region so if you'll just hang with me a second here I am going to go to the Unova region and I'll show you which horde is also fairly commonly hunted so it's gonna be uh, here at Victory Road what you're gonna do is go in Victory Road here in Unova Take a step and sweet scent. And what I'm trying to find here, hopefully it shows up. Yes, sir, right here. Uh, it's Dino. Uh, interestingly enough, I was wrong. I thought this was a three times horde. I think what I'm thinking of actually now is Gibble. Uh, and Gibble is kind of annoying to get to. So I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this video. But just know that there are hordes of three times Pokemon as well as five times Pokemon. And as you can see here, there are Durants here. So, I mean, like a lot of people come here for if it's between a dino and a durant most people want a dino right but unfortunately people will end up with durant so if i searched durant here for shinies um you can see yeah there's quite a lot of durants 86 listings as low as 1 1.3 million like people don't really want the durant uh it's kind of in here to balance the game so that like you can't just come here and just eventually spend all day to get a dino sometimes it'll take a little longer sometimes you get lucky right so that's that's that so far, right? We got a five times horde, we got a three times horde. The next way to encounter, and uh, you're not gonna like this. This is not even the hardest version of encountering a shiny, but uh, what I'm gonna do now is is gonna be kind of painful for you guys, uh, for those of you who don't know what shiny hunting is. But what you're gonna do is simply run or bike around. Uh, this works in swimming. This works in just single encountering, and this is mainly for if you're trying to hunt a rare i can't come up with any encounter so i'm gonna i'm gonna fish for a second here let's see if we can get a single encounter so what you want to do for certain rare pokemon but not super rare i'll talk about how to get a super rare shiny in a, in a bit but for some rare pokemon like this polywag is not that rare it's a bad example uh but for instance something like a dratini something like a pincer you know like uh if i if i search from the pokedex here where pincer are it would help if i could type uh pincer here vile location see like these are rare right like these are these are rare but they're not impossible to get uh hopefully i can fish for something a little better than a polywag here uh but like the easy way to check is like if i wanted to search for polywag here i could check its vile location see like very common very common uh, but what you want to look for here is Horde. If you see any pokemon with a Horde, it immediately becomes an easier pokemon to hunt for Unfortunately, I keep getting polywax, so I'm just going to go back to running around on the bike. I'll see if I can encounter, like, a dino or something. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, that's the the way to do it. Like, if I wanted, like, say, for instance, this Mianfu, right? If this wasn't a horde, I don't know for sure. It probably is a horde. But if this wasn't a horde, the best way would just be to single encounter, run around, and essentially do that until you until you come across it that's a very dangerous and a very risky way of shiny hunting i don't often recommend it because single encounters unless it's like one thing in a specific area it's insanely like luck dependent that you're going to get what you want to get right if there's only like let's say i don't know let's say there's a bagon here which there isn't right but there's also five other pokemon here there's a durant there's a mianfu there's this a boldor right there's no guarantee that what you're going to get is going to be that bagon and so for that reason i'm not a huge fan of single encountering um i'm not saying like don't ever do it right i i, I mean like if if that's the best option then that's the best option uh but that's not my my favorite thing the last way of shiny hunting that i want to talk about here in this video that's not going to be super friendly either you're not going to like it is egg hunting uh personally i have not done this i have not shiny hunted for eggs if you know a youtuber named petrowski you probably have seen him going for crany doses at least right now essentially what you do is buy or make whatever you're you're trying to hunt right so if, if i was trying to make a uh, let's say let's say a charmander right I would have to look for Charmander. The lowest price is about 4,000. So I would buy a bunch of 
it looks like male Charmanders. I'm assuming female Charmanders are going to be a little more pricey. 7K is not the worst, but the reason female is important is because female determines the species. So, you know, if you, if you want to make a Charmander, a shiny Charmander, you would buy Ditto boxes. And so I can show you my box right now. I'm kind of a Ditto hunter, as you can see here. I've got two boxes ready to sell, working on the third. Uh, but yeah, you would basically breed together a Charmander with a Ditto over and over and over again. Each breed would count as one encounter here on the top right. Uh, so that's in a way your single single encountering, right? Yeah, man, that's that's a super, super long process. And the reason why it's so expensive is because dittos take either forever to hunt for yourself if you're gonna do it, or if you're gonna buy it, dittos take uh, a lot of money. That box I showed you, like each box sells for easily 200,000. Uh, me, myself, I asked for about 210 just because uh, why not, right? Like they're in pretty hot demand, might as well ask for a little extra money. Uh, so I asked for about 210. I think if you're paying any more than like 220, you're probably not getting a good deal, at least at the time of making this video, which is like mid-April of 2022. Uh, but yeah, man, that's essentially it for the shiny hunting. As far as like tips for you guys, uh, my number one tip would be to use an encounter counter. It doesn't have to be the one I have. This is called the GEC. If you want to just search up like Pokey MMO GEC, uh, you can easily find that. Uh, it's called Gillian's Encounter Counter. It works really nice. It's it's helpful. It keeps you sane, right? Like if I didn't have this, I wouldn't know what number I'm at right now. Uh, I could be at I could be at I could I, I could assume I was at twenty thousand and feel like hey, well, I don't have a shiny, right? But because I have this sitting at fifty two hundred, I'm like okay, I'm pretty far off still, right? My other tip is to use HD battle sprites. When you load up the game for your first time, assuming you've never played this game before, your sprites are not gonna look like this. I have a built-in mod right now, not built-in, but I have a mod that I downloaded, which uh, which essentially makes like Pokemon look nicer, right? So if I click this Breloom, this is, this is like a Gen 5 sprite. Uh, this is not what it looks like on your game. Um, I could disable it and stuff, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. So you'll just have to take my word for it. You'll you'll understand when you see uh, the game for yourself. Um, is there anywhere else I can just like randomly shiny hunt? There's not a whole lot else to talk about here. One last thing I want to I want to talk to you guys about. I guess we'll just uh, we'll just shiny hunt here for a bit. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about is what to shiny hunt and. Oh my god, I thought I got a shiny here. <laughs> there was like different things here. I was like, whoa. Um, no, what, what to shiny hunt, it really depends on you, right? Uh, you can shiny hunt for profit. If you're going to do that, Ditto is probably your best bet. Like I showed you before, it's about 5 million. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's not bad, right? 5 million. Um, Ditto does take a long time. And it will require Lepa berries. So that's something I should probably talk about. A Lepa berry. Um, can I? So I have it hotkeyed here as my number eight here. Uh, after this battle, I will show you basically what it does. Uh, if I flip this Meganium here, and I show you here as PP, what I can do is hit. Okay, so I'll, I'll hit bag, go to my berries, and search Lepa. And basically, I'll hover over it so you can read it. Um, essentially, it will restore and moves PP by 10. So if I run out of sweet sense, if I use all six of mine, I can use three Lepa Berries, giving me 30 more PP, boosting me back up to 32, and then I don't have to go heal, right? I don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center because the Lepa Berries will have replenished the PP on my sweet scent. And keep in mind, every time you use sweet scent, it's, it costs five PP technically, so it's five encounters. Uh, it's not like one, so you can't just do it 32 times. You can only do it six times. That's just something to keep in mind. But uh, as far as like what to hunt, honestly, it depends on you. You can see I've kind of gone around the Pokemon world here, uh, you know, hunting here and there. Sometimes if you, I mean, obviously, if you want a specific Pokemon, you don't want to like bounce around like what I'm doing here. But, you know, if you're if you're going for like whatever, uh, it doesn't matter, right? You just you do whatever you want. There's some common shiny hunts because of people training for EVs and stuff like that. Like the place I was just at um, the, with the Rapidash, it gives you uh, speed EVs, which if you don't know, I'll just kind of show you here. Um, not this, this is IVs, like EVs here, right? So like if I took out uh, some Rapidashes here, my with Meganium, for instance, which is kind of hard because Meganium is a grass type. Uh, but if I had an EXP share or something like that, it could do it, right? So it would give me more speed EV. So that's the reason why a lot of people are hunting, not hunting, but a lot of people run into Rapidash. 
And I can show you that here by uh, just typing in Rapidash. Lowest price for a shiny. Yeah, 13 million, right? 13 million is pretty low. Comparatively to, you know, the ditto that I showed earlier, 13 million is not that bad at all. Uh, and the reason, again, is because people are like basically EV hunting here or not EV hunting, but they're like EV training here. Like, you can see there's a bunch of people right here. Uh, people are doing this because they want to train for competitive Pokemon and stuff like that. It's all, this place also gives you pretty good experience. So that's important too, to keep in mind. Um, when you're shiny hunting, you're probably not going to be doing, you know, experience hunting. You're probably not going to be gaining any experience. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it can seem like a fruitless grind sometimes because like as you can see here I've spent quite a lot of time already making this video and just doing this in the background and I've come across nothing right you're gonna come across nothing for a long time all right just keep that in mind like I said before one out of 30,000 I'm literally one sixth of the way there and this is assuming you play like a lot I would say if you lepa berry I would probably say it takes about uh, an hour to get uh, a thousand encounters so that would be 30 hours of game time. Uh, so that's going to take a long time. You know, if you only play one hour a day, it's going to take you a month. If you play like three hours a day, it'll take you still over a week. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's designed to be kind of a long grind. It's not designed to be impossible. And again, I don't want it to seem like people, like, I don't want it to seem like I'm saying by 30,000, every single account is going to have a shiny. It's not work like that. It's, it's odds. And so like it's in theory supposed to, but like, you could go way over. I've seen accounts hit 85,000 without getting a shiny. I've seen accounts go 120 without hitting a shiny. You know, like I've seen accounts get 5K and get two shinies, something like that. You know, like it, you never really know. It's odds. So just keep that in mind. But that's it, man. I, I don't have a whole lot else to say. Like I said, this is my first video. I kind of rambled on a bit. Hopefully I won't do that in the future. But if you enjoy kind of like the longer style of videos, and if you jo enjoyed I guess just the background gameplay of what's been going on, then make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm gonna try to make videos as often as I can, and eventually I wanna go through a playthrough series and and hopefully that people will, you know, stick by with with me uh with me for that. That would be kind of fun. But that's it, man. Thanks for watching. Uh be sure to leave a like and leave a comment on anything you want to see me cover in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.